Roger, Roger, 595. Roger, Roger, 73. All right, everybody ready? Here we go, question number one. Which type of atmospheric structure can create a path for microwave propagation? And number two, what indicator is required to be used by US licensed operators when operating a station via remote control where the transmitter is located in the U.S. And three. Oh, sorry. Okay, three. What does a third order intercept level of 40 dBm mean with respect to receiver performance? Okay, question number four. What is the primary reason that a high frequency switching type high voltage power supply can be both less expensive and lighter in weight than a conventional power supply? And question five, which of the following can divide the frequency of a pulse train by two? All right, question six. How many elevation lobes appear in the forward direction? And question seven, what is the primary advantage of using a toroidal core instead of a solenoidal core in an inductor? And eight, how does ARQ accomplish error correction? And nine, when using a transceiver that displays the carrier frequency of phone signals, which of the following displayed frequencies represents the highest frequency at which a properly adjusted USB transmission will be totally within the band?
and 10, which of the following is a characteristic of a good DC voltmeter? And 11, what is the approximate physical length of an air insulated parallel conductor transmission line that is electrically one half wavelength long at 14.10 megahertz? And 12, how many watts are consumed in a circuit having a power factor of 0.71 if the apparent power is 500 VA? And 13, what is a vector? And 14, why may the received signal from an amateur satellite exhibit a rapidly repeating fading effect? And 15, how is the timing of JT65 contacts organized? And 16, how can the output voltage of a multiple turn receiving loop antenna be increased? And 17, what is the packaging technique in which leadless components are soldered directly to circuit boards. And 18, how is positive feedback supplied in a Pierce oscillator? And 19, which amateur stations are eligible to operate as earth stations? And 20, how is the noise figure of a receiver defined?
hand 21, why are there separate electric and magnetic field MPE limits? Twenty-two. Which mode is most affected by nonlinear phase response in a receiver IF filter? And twenty-three. What are some of the differences between the Baudot digital code and ASCII? And 24, which of the following is a good technique for making meteor scatter contacts? And 25, what term describes station output taking into account all gains and losses? And 26, what must the VE team do with the application form if the examinee does not pass the exam? And 27, which of the following is true of LCD displays? And 28, which of the following test instruments is used to display spurious signals and or intermodulation distortion products in an SSB transmitter? And 29, which of the following descriptors indicates the greatest solar flare intensity? And 30, what aspect of an amateur slow scan television signal encodes the brightness of the picture?
and 31, what is the phase angle between the voltage across and the current through a series RLC circuit if X of C is 500 ohms, R is 1 kilo ohm, and X sub L is 250 ohms? And 32, what is the approximate feed point impedance at the center of a two-wire folded dipole antenna? All right, and 33. What is the cause of gray line propagation? Okay. And 34, how is the Q of an RLC parallel resonant circuit calculated? All right, 35, what is the typical input impedance of an integrated circuit op amp? And 36, what is digital time division multiplexing? And 37, what is the beta of a bipolar junction transistor? And 38, what best describes a pull-up or pull-down resistor? And 
and 39. What limitations may the FCC place on an amateur station if its signal causes interference to domestic broadcast reception, assuming that the receivers involved are of good engineering design? And 40, what circuit is added to an FM transmitter to boost the higher audio frequencies? And 41, which of these frequencies are available for an automatically controlled repeater operating below 30 megahertz? And 42, how might the sampling rate of an existing digital signal be adjusted by a factor of 3 over 4? And 43, what is, the, uh, what is a use for a Wilkinson divider? And 44, which of the following can cause shielded cables to radiate or receive interference? And 45, what happens to feed point impedance at the base of a fixed length HF mobile antenna as the frequency of operation is lowered? And 46, under what circumstances may a dealer sell an external RF power amplifier capable of operation below 144 megahertz if it has not been granted FCC certification? And 47, what is an important characteristic of a shot key diode as compared to an ordinary silicon diode when used as a power supply rectifier? And 48, 
where on the load line of a class A common emitter amplifier would bias normally be set? In 49, what is the process of normalization with regard to a Smith chart? Okay, and 50, how many levels can an analog to digital converter with 8-bit resolution encode? Let's see how we did. So which type of atmospheric structure can create a path for microwave? That's temperature inversion, so 1C. What indicator is required to be used by US amateur operators when operating remote? No additional indicator is required, 2B. What does a third order intercept level of 40 dBm mean for uh, Third order intercept, you have to have a pair of signals. That's the key. So it's a pair of 40 dBm signals will theoretically generate a third order intermodulation product at the same level. And four, what is the primary reason that a high frequency switching type high, um, high voltage power supply can be both less expensive and lighter? Well, the transformers get much smaller if you're operating at 100 kilohertz instead of 60 hertz. So the high frequency inverter design uses much smaller transformers and filter components for an equal power output, 4B. And which of the following can divide the frequency of a pulse train by two? That's a flip-flop. And six, how many elevational lobes? There are four of them, so 6C. And seven, the primary advantages of a toroidal core. Well, the toroidal core confines most of the magnetic field to within the, the core material in the center of the donut, 7C. And how does ARQ, or automatic request, accomplish error correction? Well, if errors are detected, a retransmission is requested. And nine, when using a transceiver that displays the carrier frequency of phone signals, which of the following uh, displayed frequencies represents the highest frequency at which a properly adjusted upper sideband emission will be totally within the band? Well, sideband is three kilohertz wide. Sideband signals are three kilohertz wide. So three kilohertz below the upper band edge. So you can remember it two ways, upper sideband, sideband signal, three kilohertz. And 10, which of the following is a characteristic of a good DC voltmeter? It doesn't load the circuit down, so it has a high input impedance. And 11, what is the approximate physical length of an air-insulated parallel conductor transmission line that is electrically one-half wavelength long at 14.10 megahertz? We have to know a bunch of different little things here, but air-insulated parallel conductor transmission line, well, that has a velocity factor of close to one, above 0.9, 
for sure. So um, there's no velocity factor reduction practically. Um, and 14.1 megahertz is what band? 20 meters. So a half wavelength for 20 meters is going to be 10 meters. And 12, how many watts are consumed uh, with a power factor of 0.71 and a parent power of 500? Well, this is a duplicate. We had this, but it's still 355 watts. You mean it hasn't changed? It's a different question? It, it was the <laughs> same question as the last test. Yeah. Chapter. Yeah. And what is a vector? Well, a vector uh, used in polar notation is a quantity with both a magnitude and an angular component. And 14, why may the received signal from an amateur station exhibit a rapidly repeating fading effect? That's because it's spinning, because of spin stabilization. And 15, how is the timing of JT65 contacts organized? That's the Earth, Moon, Earth part of the WSJT-X suite of software, alternating transmissions at one minute intervals. Transmit for a minute, receive for a minute. Transmit for a minute, receive. And how can the output voltage of a multiple turn receive loop antenna be increased? Either increase the number of turns, or the area of the loop structure, or both. And 17, what is the packaging technique in which leadless components are soldered directly to the circuit boards? That's surface mounters, surface mount devices. And how is positive feedback supplied in a Pierce oscillator? Well, a Colpitz oscillator has split capacitors, a Hartley oscillator has split inductors, and a Pierce oscillator uses a crystal. And which amateur stations are eligible to operate as earth stations? Any amateur station subject to the privileges of the class of the uh, operator license held by the control operator. And 20, how is the noise figure of a receiver defined? It's the ratio in dB of the noise generated by the receiver compared to the theoretical minimum noise. And 21, why are there separate E and H field MPE limits? All of those choices. And 22, which mode is most affected by nonlinear phase response? Digital, 22C. And 23, what are some of the differences between the Baudot digital code and ASCII? Hold your hand up. Remember five, Baudot uses five bits per character. If you do that, then you, you got it. Which of the following is a good technique for making meteor scatter contacts? Well, any of those can be used. Yep, all of those. 25, what term describes station output taking into account all gains and losses? That's the effective radiated power of the station, ERP. And what must the VE team do with, with an application form if the examinee does not pass? Due to privacy restrictions, they have to return the application document to the examinee. And 27, which of the following is true of LCD displays? Since they use polarizing filters themselves, then they could be hard to view through polarized lenses, sunglasses, or things like that. And 28, which of the following test instruments uh, is used to display spurious signals? That's a spectrum analyzer. Amplitude on the vertical scale, frequency on the horizontal scale. And which of the following descriptors indicates the greatest solar flare intensity, X. X is the big one. And what aspect of an amateur slow scan television signal encodes the brightness of the picture? Remember Dave saying the answer to all of the amateur TV is tone frequency. 
A different tone frequency indicates brightness, a different tone frequency will indicate the sync pulse, tone frequency. And what is the phase angle between the voltage across and the current through a series RLC circuit? All right, so here we go. Remember, Dave also gave us this clue that the answer is always 14 degrees. Now, so now you got to think about Eli the Iceman. Exactly. So 14 degrees with the voltage lagging the current, or ice. And what is the approximate feed point impedance at the center of a two-wire folded dipole antenna? I mentioned you can make these out of 300 ohm twin lead, and you can also feed them with 300 ohm twin lead, because the impedance is 300 ohms. And what is the cause of gray line? Remember, it happens at twilight and sunrise. And 34, how is the Q of an RLC parallel resonant circuit calculated? That's resistance divided by the reactance of either of the two. And 35, typical input impedance of an integrated circuit op amp, very high. And what is digital time division multiplexing? And the key here is to remember time slots. DMR has a channel with two time slots. So you can actually have two communications going on with DMR. That's using digital time division multiplexing. So two or more signals arranged to share discrete time slots, 36B. And the beta of a bipolar junction transistor, I mentioned it during the other test, it's the change in collector current with respect to a base current change. And what best describes a pull-up or pull-down resistor? Well, that's a resistor connected to the positive or negative supply line. It establishes a voltage when the input or output is an open circuit. And 39, what limitations may the FCC place? Well, quiet hours. An amateur station must avoid transmitting during certain hours on the frequencies that cause the interference. So this goes back to the old radio soap opera days. You can't transmit when she's listening to her soap operas. Quiet hours. And 40, what circuit is added to an FM transmitter to boost the higher audio frequencies? That's pre-emphasis. Pre-emphasis in an FM transmitter, de-emphasis in an FM receiver. And 41, which of these frequencies are available for a repeater, an automatically controlled repeater, at the very high end of the 10 meter band, so 29 megahertz. And 42, how might the sampling rate of an existing digital signal be adjusted? You interpolate by a factor of three and decimate by a factor of four. And 43, a Wilkinson divider, neat device, it's used to divide power equally between two 50 ohm loads while maintaining a 50 ohm input impedance. And 44, which of the following can cause shielded cables to radiate or receive? Those are called common mode signals or common mode currents uh, on the shield. And that's what ferrites can do is to block common mode currents. 45, what happens to the feed point impedance at the base of a fixed length HF mobile antenna, assuming resonance at that fixed length, um, as the frequency of operation is lowered while the radiation resistance, the good resistance, is going to go down, and the capacitive reactance, because the antenna is going to look short for a lower frequency, is going to increase. And 46, under what circumstances may a dealer sell an external RF power amplifier uh, without FCC certification? Well, if it was purchased in use condition and then sold on to another amateur operator for use in their station. And 47, why is it, uh, what is an important characteristic of Schottky diode? 0.2 volts of voltage drop versus 0.7 for a silicon diode. 
much less for voltage drop. And 48, the load line of a class A common emitter amplifier, would, the bias would be normally set approximately halfway between the saturation and cutoff. And so your input signal is going to swing it above and below that point. And 49, the process of normalization, well, that's reassigning impedance values with regard to the prime center. Remember, the prime center has a number one. But if you say, OK, that's going to be my 50 ohm point, then the two is going to be two times 50 or 100. So that's normalization. And last question, how many levels can an analog digital converter with 8-bit resolution encode? 256. So there we have it. Are we smiling? I fell by one. Oh, but it's better. It's better. You're, I, you're right I, on the cusp. I you're lost right there, David. I, I did better by one. I missed six instead of seven. <laughs> So and a couple of them were stupid mistakes again. Can you add 16? I missed the... Sure. Um, I missed the... Um... No, if you think you're going to be right on the edge, bring an extra 10 bucks to the exam. <laughs> <laughs> They'll let you take it over. That's again. true. You'll have to pay so the output time. voltage of a multiple turn receiving loop antenna can be uh, increased, the output of a receive, by either increasing the number of coils or increasing the area of the antenna, or both. Yeah, See, that's reducing the area of the loop. Yeah. Got to read it careful, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, got to read carefully. Well, thank you all very much. Um, we wish you, ob obviously, the very best of luck on Saturday. You can do it. You can. Um, just, uh, you know, Take your time when you're there taking the test. Read carefully uh, and um, uh, take practice tests beforehand uh, leading up. Don't overdo it. Don't overload yourself. But um, uh, it's been my great pleasure to be one of your instructors. I know Dave is pleased with your performance. You all have worked really hard. So you deserve to get this test right. Hang in there. We'll get you there. <laughs>